There have been rumors swirling around that Kim Kardashian is facing some major financial troubles. Kanye West recently dropped some bombshell claims about her, suggesting she's been living a fake life online. But is there any truth to these allegations? Let's break it down. Happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of, of what, what I, I dealt, dealt with. We all know how Kim and her sisters love to flaunt their fancy cars, houses, and all the glitz and glamour on social media. However, it seems like not everything is as it seems. According to reports, Kim is allegedly drowning in a massive amount of debt, and that raises questions about her claim of being a billionaire. Let's talk about Kim's shady past when it comes to money. Before she rose to fame, she worked as a closet assistant for singer Brandy. But unfortunately, Kim ended up stealing from her former employer. She used Brandy's credit card details for unauthorized purchases, totaling a staggering $120,000 to cover their tracks. Kim and her siblings spent the stolen money at their stores, Dash and Smooch. Eventually, legal action was taken, but the lawsuit was withdrawn outside of the courts. As y'all stole all that money from my sister and the court granted my sister to the win and y'all had to pay my sister back, what, 700000 something like that. Y'all stole like 850000 from my sister. This on my kids. Y'all got caught. Y'all got was, y'all was guilty. You had to pay my sister back. Kim like, man, keep my name out of it, right? I'm like, I don't ever want to talk to you again. But wait. There's more. Kim's involvement in money shenanigans doesn't stop there. She was also linked to a money laundering scheme with a sugar daddy named Joe Lowe. There were allegations that Kim traveled with him to gambling houses and casinos and even transported a trash bag full of $250,000 I. Cash, Joe Lowe was later implicated in a multi-billion dollar money laundering scheme, but Kim was never charged. Now, let's talk about the California Community Church, which was founded by Kris Jenner. It's been alleged that the Kardashians used this church to evade taxes. Members were required to pay a monthly fee of $1,000 and donate 10% of their annual income to the church. However, Kris Jenner is the owner, potentially allowing her to give the money back to her children, resulting in a significant tax reduction for them. It raises some serious questions, don't you think? Now, Here's where things get really interesting. People have been questioning Kim's actual net worth and if she's been inflating her income. Remember when her sister Kylie was exposed by Forbes for lying about her billionaire status? Well, people think Kim might be following a similar path. Last year, she was fined $1.26 million for advertising a cryptocurrency without proper disclosure. Some argue that her continued Instagram ads don't align with the behavior of a billionaire. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, Kanye West has spoken up about Kim's financial situation. According to sources, Kim is in heavy debt, owing a staggering $48 million. That's mind-boggling, right? Apparently, she even took out a mortgage of $48 million on her $70 million mansion. And with the whole Kardashian-Jenner family reportedly being heavily in debt, it seems like financial troubles run in the family. But here's the heartbreaking part. It seems like Kim can't turn to her family for help because they're all facing their own financial challenges. Sun Magazine reports that her mom, Kris Jenner, has a long list of debts. She's taken out multiple loans, totaling in the millions. She first of all took out a loan for $7.25 million in August 2018, but the following month, she was superseded by a new agreement for a whopping $40 million loan. Through the financial company Crosswine Venture Fund, then in January 2019, she borrowed $5.2 million and $5.5 million in June of that year, according to property reports. Even Kylie Jenner, the youngest billionaire according to Forbes, has borrowed a $7.5 million. Let's not forget that Chloe also takes out a $7 million loan. In short, the Kardashians are $132 million in debt, which is crazy. It's truly mind-boggling to think that such a wealthy and influential family could be drowning in debt, and with their recent series of questionable business moves, some are calling this their flop era. It's clear that they need to level up their game and find a way out of this financial crisis. Now, if Kim believes Kanye might come to her rescue, she might want to think again. Sources report that Kanye is solely focused on his new wife, Bianca Sensori, and has zero intentions of helping Kim out financially. What do you think about all of this? Tell me in the comments below.